was broken up with. I might not be able to get through this video. I'm trying really, really hard to get over the pain part of this. Hi, future Taya here for a second. Um, that's the first mistake is thinking you're gonna get over the pain or get over the sadness or get over the frustration. You have to work through it. And that is the biggest lesson I've learned is literally dedicating time when those things come up to be in them, be in pain, hurt, scream, be angry. And there's a lot of evident uh, situations where I clearly don't know how to deal with any of that stuff and so this breakup has taught me that I need to hold space for those things and be in them and work through them and embrace them and literally hug them because if I don't they're gonna come back very loudly anyway that's all so in efforts to prove to myself that I am strong. I want to show up for myself and continue sharing. I feel like in the movies you see it happen and and it just goes by so fast. The healing is just instantaneous in a movie. And I know there's a lot more to me. This is what I'm gonna do to work on myself and take accountability and be be there for myself. Love and breakups are both a part of life. And to be fair, I don't think I've experienced this type of heartbreak before. So this is huge development for me and I'm ready to grow but it hurts a lot this is just a journey and it's never gonna end whether i post this video or not it's never gonna end and i need to eat <laughs> so we're gonna make some food i can't look in the fridge and think about jesus um i can't look in the fridge and think about anything that i want um i'm not hungry but I'm feeling the repercussions of not eating, so so I'm going to eat. Uh, I'm going to make some rice, and I have some avocados, and I'm just going to eat that because that sounds easy and doable. <laughs> um, this is really not going to be easy. <laughs> I know it's not, but I do have faith in myself to do this and be, be okay. Let me off the hook. I wanna Remembering that this is for one, so get tangled in the seats with the lover that isn't you when you were by my side. So there's no difference now, except there's nothing to hide. Let me go on. Without you, let me go on without you, let me go on without you. Oh, how the night gives way to the dawn. We were I woke up at, I've been not able to sleep, as maybe expected keep waking up at 6 30 with like a pit in my stomach i just my body knows something's wrong my body knows that this is different and it's changing and it's really really freaky to like see the symptoms boil to the surface of mental emotional pain i needed to get rid of this like pit in my in my stomach and the burning feeling in my heart i tried successfully i've only ever tried this once the wim hof method and it felt really good to breathe so now i'm gonna make this a resource for me if i ever feel that like 
really awful burning feeling in my chest again. <sighs> Yesterday I had a friend over and I realized that I'm reaching out to a lot of people and I'm trying to get a lot of people closer in my life and realize who I have around me and it's really easy when you're in a relationship to kind of just create your own little island with them. I, I was like, what's the easiest way to make friends? Like, how do you make friends as an adult? That's so hard to do. So I downloaded Bumble for friends and I absolutely hated it. So I deleted it. But one of the most depressing parts about that was it asks if you're like what your status is of your yeah that didn't that did not feel good it broke my heart again somehow <laughs> good. I felt stronger today. <sighs> okay, little update. I made coffee and plans were canceled because it's raining outside. I put cinnamon in my coffee and that made me happy. A friend told me to make an eight week plan and like have a goal for each week. And eight weeks because that doesn't seem like that long of a time it's like the end of november and it's october 2nd so i'm gonna make a plan i'm actually making the plan on canva right now and it feels really good to plan a future because of all this unexpected turbulence that occurred so quickly now there's things to look forward to and a plan i have a plan and if i can make a plan it might not fully be followed, but at least that is something that I can kind of hold on to because it only involves me. And if something changes, it's on me. And, and I, I can forgive myself and I can forgive the, the straying for the, from the plan because everything doesn't always go to plan. I'm not giving myself only eight weeks. It's just the eight weeks is a goal. There's no time frame. There's no rule book. There's no, there's nothing that gives me a step-by-step. -step. Like, I've, I've watched YouTube videos, I've researched movies on what to watch, I've read articles, I've like, I don't, I'm like trying to grasp that everyone has been through something like this or is going through something like this and I'm not alone and this is the weirdest, most absurd human experience ever to feel heartbreak and to feel this like really groundbreaking ground earth shattering pain My friend invited me out to her apartment and I got out of the house um, and I saw her and I don't know, something like <sighs> we went and kind of sat at this like loungy, music-y lounge bar thing and I looked around the room and I was like, I'm going to be okay. I don't think I've ever written so much in my journal or yeah I'm just trying to put the pieces back together trying to make myself busy um I think I have already shared that I have a flight to um LA booked and that's something that I'm looking forward to especially with the sunshine and it's kind of chilly and uh, dark and gloomy here so that doesn't help with like dopamine and good things but you know there's really hard um battles in your body that happen when heartbreak is being experienced and there's no reason why you have to sabotage the other areas of your life um 
and your heart hurts and your brain hurts and there's so many like withdrawals in a way and I need to stop neglecting my body that that is like the ultimate form of joy for me is like cooking and nourishing in forms of very vibrant healthful medicinal foods and maybe I'll make a soup I have a lot of tomatoes that are just sitting on the counter and like I'm not gonna eat tomatoes so maybe tomato tomato basil soup with some toast sounds really cozy and doable it feels weird it feels like I'm sick and I have no no sick symptoms except for like weak and not hungry and shaky and always cold and no energy i did announce that i am experiencing heartbreak and the relationship that i was public with is ending it has ended and i put a little box up and i have never in my life received so much love support uh advice stories compassion care from all of you and i i'm i'm blown away i took a screen recording of like the first few hours this is the first few hours personal messages of your stories of your advice of things that helped you of things that you advise because heartbreak is so normal it's so universal there's a lot of proof in heartbreak of how real the love was or is hopefully it's undying and um i think there's a lot of reassurance you can put back into it and i'm learning that i'm learning to be grateful for everything that we did for each other until this point got us here got us this uh, gave us the strength to be able to separate and be individual it's going to be really exciting and challenging to learn all of this because you can experience it but you have to learn how to experience it first there was a small part of me that felt really comfortable and now that i'm accepting friends and family and i'm like showing up for people who are showing up for me it's just so interesting i feel like in a way i I definitely might have isolated myself a bit and reaching back out to people feels so good and so healing and it really does make a difference. Right now for my emotions is like a spin the wheel. So it just like, like it feels like it's ticking and I don't have enough time to process each emotion but it I feel it. It's like, okay, tears and then okay, uh, depression and then okay anger and then sadness and then happiness and then strength and then weakness so not linear it's gonna look different for each person and it feels so weird to not have anything to look to like as security like in this amount of time i know i'm gonna expect to feel this way no it's it's so weird source of joy for me um, with one of my childhood friends so that's so fun uh, I have non-stop been getting messages of I'm so sorry it feels like a death and it's the weirdest most unfortunate feeling but last night I had dinner with a friend this is more socializing than I have ever done in the last four years <laughs> Um, and it's all happened in four days. So maybe that says something. There are going to be days where I don't want to do anything to power through this week because I'm going to LA this Saturday. So 
on the flip side of things, it is 49 degrees outside. Chilly. Fall weather. I am in Los Angeles and I've been here for three days and it's been uh, yeah anyway I'm going on a hike now and I'm gonna change into some workout clothes I'm going on a hike that holds a lot of good memories so I'm excited to just immerse myself fully in that and yeah just spend a little bit more time with myself so um that's what i'll be doing but i've just been hanging out with friends and staying at my brother's place and it's just been a lot of all over the place so yeah super anxious to go back home to new york but uh there's no better time like the present and i'm just gonna keep doing what feels right and that's pretty much all i can do yeah <laughs> hot it is for sure hot oh maybe it's a beach day i might go lay on the sand uh and just continue this journey by myself i want to keep challenging myself and continuing the flow it's just all a challenge because it comes in waves and nothing feels for sure yet slowly there's more and more security in myself and I think that's something to hold on to um do I feel anxiety to go back home yes there's still so much to sort out I know I'll be okay and I'm slowly letting go of the attachment of hope I still have hope I just also want to honor myself and have hope in myself I think a lot of it is just like what and who you give hope to. It's been about a month. So I'm just, I'm really trying to work through each step of this and I know it's gonna take a minute um, and I want to just feel very peaceful about it and as much as I want to be peaceful I think that's overlooking a lot of the necessary steps to healing and the entire point of this whole thing is to weather the storm um, so I'm learning panic attack techniques because the heartache is really aggressive and every time something does come up <clears throat> it does feel like you know very consuming and hard to see past it and I want to remain who I am and grow and feel inspired still. So the update is that it's been a month and the shock is gone. The questions are still here of like why did this happen but I'm definitely moving into an accepting phase. I mean you can't just like snap your fingers and have everything sorted and be done so it's um, heartbreaking to move through the moving out process and um, yeah, it's not, it's, I mean, it's been a month and the breakup isn't over yet. So really the, the real rich healing still has yet to be done and it can't be done until there is that separation. So today I'm moving around the apartment to try to 
make the energy in here feel more mine now that this is my apartment everything feels i think really stagnant and like everything is falling down and i don't want that and i want to remind myself of the strength and the power i have to continue 